To me, Global Reach Out is inspiring. It's connecting with God, reaching out to the world, and impacting life. The stories that are shared is so personal and it deeply impacted me. Global Reach Out to me is reach out to the truth. Connecting hearts, connecting lives. You're listening to Global Reach Out. Hello friends, a very warm welcome to Global Reach Out. And thank you for staying with us on this series called Candle in the Dark. Hello friends, a very warm welcome back to Global Outreach again. I'm Sammy, 53, from Hong Kong. I'm married and has two children, a daughter and a son. Together with my wife, we have served in Pakistan for 18 years and we are now serving in Thailand for the past two years. You know, friends, we can stare at the blessing and not recognize it. But when blessings flow intermittently, they are impossible to ignore. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This is a promise from God Himself. In the years that I have responded to God's call to the mission field, my family and I experienced God's immeasurable blessings. You may ask, how were you blessed? Let me count the ways that we were blessed by God. We were blessed with indescribable joy of serving the underprivileged, the poor, the sick, the widows, the orphans, and the victims of natural disasters. Nothing can beat seeing children jumping up and down with joy when they receive second-hand coats in freezing winters. I recall stuffing my room full of dusty coats as I trot daily to the second-hand market during winter to buy up all the coats we could lay our hands on because of the huge number of poor women and children living in the villages. Each trip would take me a long time to scour for coats that were thick and of reasonable good quality. Our joy bubbled over when we saw the women folks and children covered in warm clothing. We were blessed by the support of our overseas partners when they sent doctors on short-term missions to serve alongside a local medical team in mobile clinics to care for the sick in the remote villages. Mobile medical clinics provide free consultation, medicine, and health training. I would choke up with emotion as I witnessed more than a thousand patients being attended to each time. I remember a six-year-old boy who came weak and unable to walk. The doctors prescribed him medicine and taught his father how to strengthen his son's legs. Within a few months, this little boy was able to take slow steps. Local pastors continued to minister to the physically ill once the overseas medical team flew home. Recently, we set up a small mobile local medical team to villagers which had not visited before. We were blessed to have our faith strengthened when we see God's power overcoming evil spirits. I met a helpless family whose son was possessed by an evil spirit. I knew that only God could win this battle. My sole weapon was my faith in Jesus Christ. I came together with some Christians and a local pastor in worship of God's power and prayer for the young men. We ordered the evil spirit in the name of Jesus Christ to get out of the young men, and the evil spirit departed hurriedly. The young man immediately regained consciousness from his semi-trans state. The local pastor visited the family the next day, the young man was completely well and normal. How great is our Almighty God! 
We were blessed to belong to God's universal family, His church. Without a shadow of a doubt, my church and Christian friends who pray for my children. And they often went beyond the call of duty. While we were in the mission field, my church members often visited my parents and persistently shared their good news with them. With their encouragement and support, my parents started attending church and before long accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Acts 16.31 tells us to believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. In our second year in the mission field, my parents were baptized in church and continued to experience God's love and the love of His church. We were blessed to have God as my children's caretaker. God took care of them intellectually and physically, endowing them with wisdom and good health. At the same time, God took care of their spiritual needs. He provided them with a combination and education in a mission boarding school where they received biblical trainings from the teachers and house parents daily. We could see their faith growing and strengthening day by day and step by step. Nothing relieves our anxiety more than to know that God cares for our children much more than He cares for the ladies in the field. Since we are so blessed, how can we not give thanks to the Lord for calling us to the mission field? Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 10 says, My heart took delight in all my work, and this was the reward for all my labor. My awakening in this countless blessing helps me see mission not as a job or activity, but as a privileged commitment. Serving God as a missionary in the village is a wonderful life. My family and I enjoy driving our vehicle to the remote villages to visit families, to worship God together, and to teach the Bible in the Holy Spirit. We are filled with inexplicable joy as we see God changing the hearts and minds of people and leading them to His kingdom. We delight in the presence of God in every moment and in every area of our lives. It is a wonderful thing to find pleasure in our labor and to know that God's blessing flow freely to His people. Everything to God in Prayer By Broker Read by Wong Fu Man Broker has served in the mission field for 13 years. A father of three children, Broker is 43. He is currently based in India. Everything to God in Prayer There is our family motto, whether in work, school or ministry. We teach our children that if they want anything, Ask God first. God is a provider who will grant them their requests when He sees feet. Our children grew up clinging on to this teaching. But our prayer for now is that one day, they too will serve the Lord and be a blessing to others. We are a family of five from Northeast India, growing up in a Christian community and coming from a small town where we enjoy God's creation in different ways. Broker got married in the year 2000 and were blessed with wonderful children, a boy, 16 years old, and two girls, 6 and 13 years old. In 2006, Broker and his wife received God's calling and committed their lives to missions. The journey was filled with challenges, particularly as we didn't know where to start and how to move forward. We kept praying for wisdom and discernment and asking God what He wants us to do. And finally, in 2009, the Lord opened a door for ministries with Muslims in South Asia. For obvious security reasons, we are unable to review the particular country that God called us to. In the beginning, 
we had difficulty building relationships with the people. They were often suspicious of outsiders. Because we are different, they kept the distance. One night, we went on our knees to ask God to help us connect with the people. Soon after, we heard someone at the door. When we opened the door, we were surprised to see two ladies from a neighborhood standing there. They asked if they could visit us. This was the first miracle we experienced in the field. They became our good friends, and over the years, we have been blessed by the friendship. In our eagerness, we sometimes pressure ourselves to deliver. But God has His own ways and plans for us. We only seek to wait on Him for His instructions. Our first term in the field was quite challenging. We had to adapt to the new culture, learn a new language, and on top of that, we had visa issues. But on the grace, but by the grace of God and the prayers of His saints, we managed to thrive. Our first term was the hardest as we adjust to life in a completely different environment. But it was also the time when we experienced God the most and learned to depend on Him. Our first term gave us enduring lessons that helped us persevere throughout our ministry. As we look back on our times in this country, we could see countless answers to prayer that gives us hope and increase our trust in the Lord. Answered prayers became one of our starting points when we shared with the locals about how we ended up in the country. We built relationships by telling our life stories, recounting all that God has done for us and the ways He had provided for us, and answered our prayers. When friends asked for loans, we would reply that we are unable to help financially, but will pray for their needs in Jesus' name. We pointed them to God as their provider. We wanted them to know that God cares more about us than we can ever imagine. With prayer as the foundation of a ministry in a country, we saw our labor bearing fruit as God moved in our midst. Through a hospitality ministry, we built relationships as we opened our homes to our neighbors and shared with them all that God had done. We also prayed with them constantly. Our home became a sanctuary for people who are in unsafe situations. Many of the relationships we built with the people continue today. Broker traveled all over the country for Bible training, seminars, workshops, and pastoral training. As I traveled, I shared the word of God with all the people. I encountered some of them still look for me to have wise counsel for the day. A new local pastor testified excitedly that after the training, the word of God came alive as never before and is able to see God's big picture. He is now more confident as he preaches the word. God has used us in diverse ways so beautifully. He keeps us going in the good and bad times. The one who calls us is faithful, and he will finish his missions. What a privilege to be part of God's great mission. What a gift to be able to turn to God in prayer in all circumstances. We will close here today. Please stay tuned with Global Reach Out, and let's meet again next week. Have a great week ahead. Goodbye. The program is proudly presented by Global Reach Out. We welcome you to share our live and rich webcasts with family and friends through our website, global-reachout.org. Let's reach out to bless more lives together.